Okay, so I'm with Ken from Silver Creek Nurseries and he is going to show me how to graft a fruit tree. I've learned that fruit trees, of course, are made up of two pieces. You've got the scion and the rootstock. So, Ken, you want to show me how to do it? Sure. Uh, easiest way is to start with the rootstock, which we keep down in a pail of water here. And uh, the whip and tongue graft starts with a, a long, slanting cut, basically, and uh, I pinch the, the rootstock between my, my thumb and the knife, and I put the flat side of the knife toward the rootstock. A, a grafting knife has a beveled side and a flat side. So I start by making this cut, and you want to just kind of draw your hands apart, basically. <laughs> Make one smooth motion, like that. So you have a cut that looks sort of like that. And then you make a tongue cut starting at about one third down from the top and going to about two thirds. So the first cut you were cutting away from you and now you're cutting towards you. I see, so you really literally do have a tongue that's going to stick out. That's right. Yeah, and you want to Hold the knife up nice and close when you're doing the tongue cut so that you have lots of control and even saw it back and forth a little bit just to make a, a little flap there that will grab your, your scion because the scion is basically uh, the same sort of cut that will match up. And by the way, always have band-aids nearby because you're working with a sharp knife and always be super careful. So you can see, I just cut the end off there. It was a little bit brown because it had been cut a few days ago. It's nice and fresh and green here. And that's what you want to see. So we want to make a cut basically that will match this cut here. So I start about the same distance back from the end and I just make another smooth cut like that. Maybe I'll make it just a bit longer. Okay, that's better. And just trimmed a little bit off the end there. So, I start with my tongue again, about a third from the top. Down about two thirds. And then fit the two together. And basically I kind of flex the scion here so that the tongue, the gap between the tongues opens up and they just fit right together. Now what happens if you accidentally touch that flesh inside of the uh, branch, the green part that you're trying to match up? Yeah, that's a good question because the um, it's very important to actually not touch that green exposed tissue because the oil from your hands uh, will kill basically the cells that have been cut and exposed. So yeah, it's very important to just kind of Pull the sign and flex it a bit and stick it in without touching it with your fingers. So it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You're trying to fit things together just so, and then the insides of the branch, the the the, um, the living layer of the branch, will then fuse together with time. That's right. Yeah, and any of the other exposed surfaces will callus over in time. So the next step here is to tie it up with a rubber, and basically we just wind this rubber. Oops, uh-oh. It's not holding together quite as well as I do, but stick that in there. Get it lined up. You know what? Let's cut the top off here. So we cut the top off to about two or three good buds. Like that. and then wind it up. And then I just stick the end of the rubber underneath sort of make a little knot here. And pull it tight. There, so it's all held together with the rubber and now it's time to put some wax on to seal those cut surfaces. 
So we want to seal the top there where it's cut and all of the, the graft. Now, is, there, is it a special wax that you have to use when you're waxing the uh, graft? Um, this particular wax is a hot, wa hot grafting wax and it has to be heated. You have to warm it in, in warm water or some kind of uh, heating device. And yeah, to keep it molten. There's also cold waxes that you can brush on at room temperature. So there's our finished graft ready to be planted. How exciting!